Hey everybody, today is July 28th, 2013. This is my Wisconsin garden update. I'm in a tree, watching and waiting, and let me explain why. My tomato plants are doing excellent. You can see how healthy they are reaching the tops of the poles. But there's one big problem, and that's the deer. They've eaten every single tomato off of these plants that I showed a few weeks ago. Anything below, I'd say, four feet tall is gone. And uh, they're pretty sloppy about it. I mean, there's tomatoes with bites out of them just all over the ground. So all of my Mega Bloom tomatoes that I showed, I had about eight of them. They're all gone. And anything above or below four feet is gone. So all I have are tomatoes about shoulder height. So I'm hoping that the deer don't get those next time. I do have a few that they didn't get, but I'd say they got 90% of them below shoulder height. Here's one that the deer missed. This is a hoy. And it's actually the last mega bloom I have left in this garden. And there's another one over here that they missed, but these plants were loaded before. There's another up there. And all the other tomatoes are about this size. So I just have to wait to see if these survive the next round. Well, as if it wasn't bad enough, they had to deer ate all the tomatoes. This is my uh, squash and pumpkin patch, and last year this was a sea of leaves. Here's a quick shot of that. This is my pumpkin and squash patch. It's pretty big and doing very well. And now let me show you why this is so bad this year. Well, here's my big letdown. This is my Big Max pumpkins. You remember how healthy they were and how big the leaves were. And you can just see that the deer ate every leaf that they possibly could. Check that out. All just stems left. No pumpkins. And right there, they ate all the uh, butternut squash. There's just stubs still trying to survive. The only thing that they didn't touch are the acorn squash. And I'm sure we'll have some of those. And yes, they ate all the Pride of Wisconsin melons. And they also ate all of uh, the Jack B. Little, so I doubt if we'll have any of those this year too. Before I start on the garden, I figure I better make a path around it because there's so many mosquitoes out right now and they're hiding in all these weeds. Well, that's much better to get around the garden, but I had a little problem with a bee. A bee stung my ankle. I only cried for 10 minutes this time. And I came back to look where I was cutting and check this out. They're swarming. I must have hit a nest. See if we can get a closer look. You can see their nest must be right there. Because they are swarming that whole area. Can't go through there anymore. Oh well anyway, now you can see how nice my tobacco is. That stuff is really growing. Check out how healthy that is. Too bad it's right next to the bee's nest. Those leaves are absolutely huge and these plants are taller than I am now. Beautiful plants. Well, not only are the bees back this year, but my friends, the biting ants, are back. 
these red and black ants have the meanest bite and it took me about six months last year for the uh, scars to go away it stayed like kind of purplish for a while on my skin well here I am in the slea stack forest and this is where all the deer are coming from and over here is the garden and they have a little trail so you can see over there by where my tobacco is there's a trail going right to the garden so I guess next year we're gonna have to put up a couple clotheslines I learned this from uh, Fozzie the Mexican he told me about it um, you put up two lines a few feet off the ground a few feet apart and the deer jump over the first line they see the second line and they jump back across the first line because uh, they have bad depth perception and it confuses them so we'll put that line all along this whole side here and we'll see if it works next year I might set it up this year still I'm not sure if I have time but uh, I might next time I'm here here are the cucumbers usually I'd be harvesting a bunch right now but the deer have really chomped on these two and they're trying to recover so no cucumbers yet but maybe we will by the end of the year They've also eaten all of my green beans. This is my typical green bean. You can see what's left of it. It's just the stem. And it's that way all the way down. The deer didn't eat everything. Here's a few tomatillos. They haven't even touched these. They must not like the tomatillos. And maybe it might be because they're so hidden in these weeds. There's another one down there. They also didn't touch my carrots, turnips, or beets. And they didn't touch my little marigold patch here. These came out pretty nice. I threw about 500 seeds in here. And they're just starting to bloom. So that's pretty cool. There's the Slea Stack Forest, and here's a quick shoreline garden update. Here you can see a trail that the deer have been taking along the shore. Comes this way and goes right to where I planted pumpkins. And the lake did come up another inch. As you can see the pier over there is going to go under again. So I don't think these pumpkins will produce being that soaked with water. That and the deer have been eating them too. And here are the tomatoes. The deer ate the tomatoes that were on them. This is the unknown heirloom tomato. And that's the Rutgers right there. Both tomatoes I showed last time, 14 days ago. Those are gone. So I'll have to figure out something next year to stop them from eating these. But uh, they look really healthy. So, I guess that's it for the shoreline update. Well, that's all I have for you this time. Till next time, take care everybody. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to show you something that might keep the deer away. I was watching Planet of the Apes, and the mutants would project a hallucination into your head. And I've learned to do that. So let me try it right here. This might work against the deer. Here we go.